Hello, Poké Dudes and Poké Dudettes. And today, I'm on my own. But, uh, this was an idea. I've been asked if I could play this by um, a good friend of mine. Goes by the name of SNES Gamer. And, uh, gonna start up a new one. I've got a couple of other save slots. Basically, the idea is, I want to go through the game. Of course. How else would you uh, go through a let's play? So this is quiet and I can't hear it. So I'm going to turn it up a little bit, so if you can hear it in this audio, I'm afraid I'm a bit sorry. So, um, here's a boy, the Lombax. Final which is a... Uh, Attach robotic ignition Fucking system. Thank cat. you for using help desk tech. Tiger. Um. Squirrel. Thing. Oh, I am joined today by, um. Billy, the cat. She's, uh. A cat. And, uh. Oh, look. Robots. Nah, mate. Rejected! Oh, and turned off. Okie dokie. Um. Ooh, there's a robot. What do you say, Godza? Oh, is a TV. I want one of those poor TVs, so long they can hover a little bit. Probably burn me and um, lap my lap my fucking my balls though. I'd rather not have them on my lap actually. Get a nice uh, lift. Oh look, boxes and stuff. That might be important later in the uh, future. Maybe, maybe not. Dunno. Yeah. I mean like... I've only seen a couple of cutscenes. Oh, I've, played, I've played the games. I know what I'm doing. I've played the games before. This is actually one of my favourite games to play. Um, one of the first games. I used to play on the PlayStation 2. And um... I, I was kind of... Um, a, a good... A pal of mine was kind enough to, uh, I'll let the quality up, um, I can't, was kind enough to let me, uh, borrow the game, so, uh, I shall be playing through Ratchet and Clank, the first one, and, um, not the, uh, not the, not the new one, which is alright, but, Welcome to the really to offer you a um, so I've basically played this before, so I know how to throw stuff, and I've got Bomb Glove here, which is uh, pretty cool. I would make this a uh, run, but I can't be bothered to. I'm gonna kill some of the rogues thing. Get some more bolts. My way, making my way down, down. Lombax fast with a wrench and a bomb glove. So, uh, yeah, if you don't know what Ratchet and Clank is, it's an old game made by, uh, This was made by Insomniac, the uh, creators of Spyro, and what else have they made? Spyro, other Ratchet and Clank games, um, they also made Sonsa Overdrive for those people that played the Expo, which um, I played in the theater pretty good game. But I would wish for it to be on a special team or something, because I don't like the Expo controller. So uh, it's basically the tutorial level, you're on um, the Delden, Ratchet's home, home planet, nothing too fancy, just gonna pick up some bolts, and a nice array of boxes over here, easy peasy. Oh, 
Tamam, tamam. Bonus, I'm going to use your bomb press the circle to it. Um. He just absolutely just zapped their own team member. Dumb. Run and then I took that. So not a perfect run. I think I got hit beforehand as well. Let's see if I can run past this one. So um This is the moment where we meet Clank. A little buddy. Tune up the brightness on the um. Interesting. Yeah, I'm sure so you're quite handy with your wrench. You bet. I built that ship with it. Hmm. Currently, I'm in search of someone who could be of assistance in saving the solar system. Do you know where I might find that fellow? Well, he's on the radio every week. Other than that, no. Hey, what's with all this save the solar system stuff anyway? Hello, citizens of... My race, the Blog, have a small problem. Our planet has become so polluted, overpopulated, and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell here. But I, Chairman Dreg, have a solution. We are constructing a pristine new world using the choicest planetary components available. So, what does this mean to you? might ask? Using highly sophisticated technology, which you couldn't possibly understand, we will be extracting a large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas, but of course, sacrifices must be made. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind don't me, and my... We're still on? Look, turn it off, you idiot! The people on those planets are hosed. Well, good luck getting Captain Quark to help you. Actually, you could help me. If you could use your ship to take me to the coordinates contained in this infobot, I might be able to gather further information there. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I'm missing a crucial component of the ship. The robotic ignition system. How did you know that? I, sir, happen to be equipped with the latest in robotic ignition systems. My programming allows me to start any ship I choose. So, I agree to take you to this wherever it is, and you get my ship started for me? That is what I'm proposing. Deal. Jim and Drake starts it. Build in orbit. This could be a problem. Take care of it. Ooh, I wonder who that could be. Whoa, this is great! So that's where I've been stuck this whole time. Please return your appendages to the steering mechanism, sir. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and by the way, you could stop calling me sir. The name's Ratchet. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. You got a name? My serial number is B54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. 
Hang on. Back on German Drug's flagship. So, you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city when my workers begin removing it. Preposterous! I will not stand for this! Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter. Let's just see what Captain Quark has to say about that, my good man. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. Captain Quark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat, you, you puny. You have now officially worn out your welcome and my patience. This is your last chance. Stop this madness now! Okay, wait. You're right. I will withdraw my troops. Really? No! He's all yours, gentlemen. Try not to leave any marks. His voice acts as such a good playing villain. about that well we're not leaving the way we came in perhaps we could procure a ship from one of the inhabitants if there are any left right yeah then let's uh start looking around um i think we'll save that for the next episode I'm not planning on making this too long so we'll take this route around this area is um, a couple bolts. Oh, I'm gonna die straight away. Pretty nice area. Gonna deal with a new enemy which fires fucking rockets, man. That helped me kill that guy. Well, I didn't need it. Some more bombs like that would be useful in this area. If I can remember which area. I'm gonna get too much from me. But you get enough. I wish that there could be a little bit more bolts in this game. Or maybe a multiplier or something. But, uh, you know, it's fine. I'm, I'm expecting this for early game anyway. Just scroll down a little bit. Uh, bolts and stuff. Come back up, do the ground, go back down. Oh, and we just missed. What the? What the? What the? What the? Under the whatever this is, under the water. That's where you'll find her. Under the water, where you'll find some money. Under the water. You can explore her under the water where there's nothing ever to be found till you go searching for it. What's with this goddamn thing showing up on the screen? I guess I'll have to ignore it. You All the text is on screen. Uh, fine, we just quickly save the game. Um, and save slot three. There we go. Do 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 do. Nice jump. Okie dokie. 
God dang it. Is there a way to turn that off? Up there. X off. There you go, that's what that is. I don't know if that is. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the text off. Give me a minute. Aha! Stop. And we've also found our first gold bolt. Gold bolts are, um, Collectibles in this game, they are not useful until the bonus, the new game plus, when you can get the golden weapon and get through the game again. It requires a lot more bolts though, which is um, kind of annoying. Although, one of my goals for this game is to get the um, Rhino, which is the strongest game um, weapon in the game. So, um, if there's a few weapons that I don't buy, that's probably because I'm saving up for the Rhino, which um, may thoroughly disappoint a few of you. And, you know, it's understandable. You know, there's a really good weapon in the game, like the uh, Tesla Claw, that's great. Um, the rocket launcher, I might pick up a rocket launcher, but I know what weapons and gadgets I need. And they're unlikely kind of exhausting when it comes to this game. So, uh, as soon as we got here, I think there's the, um, the Pyro Sighter. The Pyro Sighter. One of my favourite weapons in the game. Love using it. I use it against, um, the smaller enemies, though, so I'm just. Just gonna right, up the ones. There we are. Okay. Um, I'll end off the first episode here. I know it wasn't too much, but uh, we'll get back to it in the next episode. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. If you're new to the if you're new to the channel and you want to see more of this series, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell notification right next to it. You might find yourself being the first. Yeah. Well, I have been Funky Dread, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.